Hey guys, Dr. Walker in Frisco. Ever wonder what's inside of a breast implant? Let's cut them open and find out. So what's inside a breast implant makes a big difference on how it looks and feels inside your body, but it also makes a big difference on what happens if the implant has a rupture or a break in the silicone shell of the implant. A silicone implant is filled with medical grade silicone, while a saline implant is actually filled with salt water that's sterilely put inside the implant during your procedure. Alright, so I've got four types of implants here. This is a saline implant, and it's got a valve that you actually take off and put a little syringe and you fill that with salt water on the table during the surgery. This is an older silicone implant, also has a silicone shell, but the inside is filled with silicone. And this older implant has much runnier silicone, much more in the spectrum of syrup or something that doesn't hold its shape. The newer technology, you'll see when we cut this open, it looks like a gummy bear and it doesn't run out everywhere. And I think clinically, I do believe that that's going to make a huge difference if you're one of the patients that has an implant rupture. This implant's going to deform much more. This has the old runny silicone in it. And if you start turning, you can see how much more that implant's going to deform and it'll just fall right off the table. So let's cut them all open and see what's inside. This is a saline implant and when these rupture you can see all the saline just comes out and within seconds it's completely flat. This is all the salt water that was inside and your body actually absorbs all this salt water and then it just is left with a silicone shell. And you can see that can degrade and this is what would be taken out after an implant rupture. So this is one of the newer gummy bear implants. It's got cohesive gel so when you cut it or if it ruptures it stays in place. And you'll see I'll, I'm opening this thing up. I'm attempting to squeeze all the gel out but it actually stays in place. This is this would be a really serious implant rupture in some, inside of somebody. You can imagine with a small little rupture, it's really not going to make the gel go everywhere and it's going to continue to hold its shape unless you totally take it apart. I can't even do it with my maximal force. Um, so I think a very safe option, a very safe implant, and if this ruptures, it's not going to make a huge mess. Your body's not going to encapsulate all this silicone. You can see this is an older implant. It has silicone on the outside and the inside. And one of the first things you'll notice compared to the other one is how deflated these implants are. They weren't filled with as much silicone. We'll go ahead and cut it open. And when I squeeze this, I mean it's just totally falling apart. And the silicone, you can imagine this kind of going all over the breast pocket. It's totally like syrup. And I can squeeze this and it does not go back to its original shape. So there you have it. We have our form stable cohesive implant that stays still. It's full of this stuff already because everything I'm touching now has that. You have our saline implant and then the older silicone scary implants. I do not use these in my practice. I don't know anyone who does and you can see why I believe these are much safer implants and hold their, their shape much better over the long run. Can somebody can somebody help me, anybody? <laughs> oh my God.